talking about government, it has commenced a scheme for large-scale buyers to directly meet with farmers to purchase their produce as part of efforts to deal with the high production of rice in parts of the country. 1,024 rice farmers at Weta in the Volta region are the first beneficiaries of the scheme. Local rice farmers can now heave a sigh of relief following government intervention to address the increase in production this year. Wienko Ghana Limited would be mopping up all remaining rice left on farms across the country and same is expected from other major processing firms to make the finished products readily available on the market. 2018, we consumed a total of 1.135 million metric tons of rice in this country. Meanwhile, our production capacity by our farmers is just 769,400 metric tons. There's a deficit. The businessmen take advantage of importing. They will not import to only the deficit, but they will end up importing to even cover that one that you have produced. There's a campaign that is going on now called Eat Ghana Rice. We have the best perfume and jasmine rice that those that we even bring from Europe and Asia and other places cannot even match up. The scheme accountant for the Ghana Irrigation Development Authority, Benatete, for his part, said there is adequate capability to increase production and called for more government support. We have a potential land size of 950 hectares, out of which 880 have been developed and irrigable for rice cultivation. We also have a total farmer population of 1,024. We also have a total farmer population of 1,024. We have an average acreage of two acres per head per farmer. The average yield is five tons per hectare. Deputy Agri Minister assured farmers government will continue to subsidize inputs. On, to address the issue of the subsidized fertilizer, I want to assure you that government under the Planting for Food and Job has a program. And one of the programs under that is what we call that the youth in agriculture that and through that program we give subsidized fertilizer to farmers once we want them to produce for us to get enough rice in this country to feed ourselves to cut our import they need to also get the input meanwhile government says it intends to ban rice importation by 2022